So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. Today we'll talk about image neighborhood reducers in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So in this video, let us take a look at how to define a country's boundary in Google Earth Engine and calculate NDVI and NDWI, that is normalized different vegetation index and normalized difference water index. And how to load an imageries in Google Earth Engine and compute a standard deviation as the texture of NDVI, that is normalized difference vegetation index. And last, we're going to display our results. So first, let us define a country's boundary. So to define a country boundary, we're going to define a variable called countries equals to W dot feature collection and referring to United States Department of State large state international boundary polygon of 2017 database so we are accessing this particular database to define a country boundary after that we're defining a variable called uh, defining a variable called vasi land equals to countries so the countries here that refers to this variable countries so va uh, variable defined a vasi land equals to countries dot filter so we are filtering by the specific country called Vazi land. So now let us calculate NDVI and NDWI. That is normalized difference vegetation index and normalized difference water index. So here we define a variable and this function will uh, input an image. So for that we defined a variable called variable add ndvi pans equals to function image so it will uh, input a satellite image so to perform a ndvi analysis we defined a variable called variable ndvi equals to image dot add bands image so this particular recipe formula is an algorithm to perform an ndvi analysis that is normalized difference vegetation index and next is a uh, next we're going to perform is normalized difference water index for that we're going to specify a variable and uh, that is ndwi normalized difference water index equals to ndvi dot add bands so this particular so this particular algorithm will perform a mathematical operation using band 3 and band 8 so band 3 and band 8 in the sentinel image to calculate the NDWI. So next the, the return function gives us the NDVI and NDW analysis result. So next is uh, we're going to load an imagery. For that we're going to define a variable called image equals to a double dot image collection. So this particular this particular recipe formula will import an sentinel 2 a image into Google Earth Engine. So here the Copernicus Nikos S2 defines the sentinel image, sentinel 2 a image. So this to import in a sentinel image, we are using a defined variable called IMG equals to double dot image collection Copernicus S2. That is Sentinel 2A image. So in the next is uh, we are going to filter it by that is using our date. That is a temporal filtration. So we have uh, specified with the date of uh, 2017 1-1. That is January 1 to uh, 2017 December 31st. So filtering we are using a filter dot date. The dot filter date to uh, a temporal filtration. So next is we are using so since it is of uh, it is of global data we are filtering by filtering using our filtering it by using our study area vasilin so for that we are defining that is dot filter bound and defining our study area that is vasilan so the next filter we're going to perform it uh, using the uh, to uh, filter the clouds so to avoid the cloud contaminated uh, the images, we are going to we are going to use the dot filter 
using this recipe uh, formula that is uh, fill dot filter doubly that is referring to the image collection dot filter and uh, we are specifying a cloudy pixel percentage that is lesser than 10 percentage so we are only uh, specifying a filter condition by a cloud per cloud contamination that is uh, lesser than 10 percentage so next is for a dot map add ndvi bands so this is a map algorithm we're going to uh, apply so we are using dot map uh, algorithm to apply this uh, ndvi calculation so for each specific image it will calculate the ndvi and the uh, ndw analysis using this particular algorithm so next is we are defining a variable called image img ndvi equals to double e dot image collection and img that is referring to this image that is our sentinel 2a image dot select the nd here the nd refers to ndvi and uh, again defining a variable called ndvi equals to img ndvi dot mean as a result we have selected a series of satellites uh, we have a temporal filtration from uh, january 2017 to december uh, december 2000, 2017 so to acquire a mean image that is to acquire a single image out of this sequence of uh, out of this range range from january to uh, december to acquire single image by using the variable uh, defined a variable called ndvi equals to img ndvi dot mean function as a result we get a single satellite image from this entire temporal range from january to december january to december the next is so we're going to print this so print ndvi refers to this variable we're going to print this uh, print this is sentinel image so next is uh, we're coming to our main thing to compute a standard deviation and the texture of ndvi so we should uh, in the beginning we have said we have to uh, find the image neighborhood reducer so let us see of our main component the main component of this video the image neighborhood reducer so to compute a standard deviation as a texture of ndvi so in this function we are going to create a variable of standard deviation kernel so applying that to the ndvi image that is we have calculated here variable ndvi so using that same image using that same image we're going to apply our neighborhood reducer so the reduced neighborhood means of uh, like applying a moving uh, window using standard deviation so using the s3 uh, moving window kernel so at the last we're going to display our result so we have defined a variable called visualization parameters so the first image it is as a it is a raw data that is a variable called visualization parameter equals to the bands the bands we're going to use is band 2 3 and band 4 the minimum value is around 0 the maximum value of 3000 so the first image we're going to display is a it is of a raw image that is sentinel to a image for that we defined a map dot add layer image dot minimum that is we're given zero flip so flip by our study area to set our visualization parameters so using this variable variable visualization parameter so we have set our visualization parameter using the variable visualization parameter so it is referring to a sentinel 2a image vazi land so the next image we're going to add is map dot add layer that is our ndvi image so for that to add uh, an ndvi so we define a map dot add layer ndvi clip by our study area vazi land but we have set our uh, visualization parameter that is minimum minus one and maximum of one and our color palettes that is we are defined here so this is our color palette 
for NDVI. So third uh, image is the most important one. So the third one is one of the most important that is uh, we are covering in this lecture that is we are going to define a standard deviation kernel function. So that is our smooth NDVI image using our uh, kernel uh, standard deviation moving uh, three by three windows. So here we define the kernel uh, kernel dot circle three by three windows. So at last we defined uh, a map dot center object vasi land with the zoom level of nine. So now let us run this. So go to the option called uh, run script. Click that. So now we can able to view. So we have uh, three different layers that is SD, standard deviation kernel NDVI, and uh, NDVI the image analysis, and our raw data that is our Sentinel 2A image. Now we can able to view this is our Sentinel 2A image, that is our raw image. So this is our Sentinel 2A raw image. Now let us see the NDVI. So this is our NDVI image. So here you can able to find out that this is a, this is a, a water body and this color represents the irrigated uh, lands and these are the agricultural areas. So the last one is the uh, that is that is the SD kernel NDVI. So in which the NDVI is performed with the a neighborhood function. So now let me uh, select that. So now we can able to identify that. So this is a water body. So let me uh, let us see in NDVI. So in NDVI the water body is, looks like this. So now also we can able to view that. When I zoom in and zoom out, we have a three by three continuous windows moving. So you can see that this three by three window. So we can able to view that it is a little bit uh, pixelated compared to the original image. So in this video we have seen uh, the image neighborhood reducer and how to define a country boundary to calculate the NDVI and load the imagery that is Sentinel 2A image and compute our standard deviation that is our uh, image neighborhood reducer using our standard deviation kernel and last we displayed our result so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and give us a like